Surf Monkey Coconut Fermentator Update Number One. I think I'm gonna have to make a new series just on the fermenter just to keep everything separated. Uh, I made two improvements to the fermenter already. It's only been about an hour and a half since it's been running, but um, I came back to check on it while the foam felt fine. Everything felt cool on the bottom. When I went to lift the lid, this black piece got really hot, and I was afraid that um, it, if it was that hot, um, it could potentially melt through the plastic, uh, the styrofoam, and maybe fall into the plastic come in direct contact with that and then start some kind of fire that way so what i did was number one um, i think that the wattage was a little too high so i replaced the 40 watt bulb with the 32 watt bulb now um, just keeping everything cooler um, i think uh, it'll help uh, you know this is under direct uh, radiant heat so and it's in the insulated box so i think it'll still reach the needed temperatures for that even with the lower wattage uh, so long as everything's kind of hermetic in there um, the second improvement that I did was I had, um, created these cardboard gaskets. I just cut a square and a circle in the middle and fit it around the collar of this light fixture so that it is sort of like a temperature insulator, temperature separated, so this piece isn't coming in direct contact with the styrofoam so that um, you have this insulated piece of cardboard between surfaces. I uh, did it for both sides, so it's on either side, so even if this uh, reflector dish gets hot, it won't be in direct contact with the styrofoam itself. So, just a quick update. Um, you know, as, as for what this is going to become, um, you know, I don't know, we might modify it some more in the future, uh, or actually we might modify it in the next hour or so, even depending on how well it does. Um, I'm going to check on this probably every half an hour for now, uh, for the first couple hours, see how things are going. I actually am probably going to turn this off for tonight until um, I'm actually up while it's on for the first, you know, say five hours. Because even if you don't see a temperature variant within the first two hours, five hours could be a total different story. You know, things just could get heated up in there, it could, you know, um, have some kind of horsepower building, with, and it'll just kind of... Uh, spontaneously combust. So this thing does make me afraid and nervous about just having it on. So I think you guys should probably have the same precautions. But you know, um, it worked uh, a couple years ago. So um, we'll see if we can replicate it. And um, in case you guys were wondering, this was the clamp that came with the light. So this is what you're looking for. And Oscar's asking for his dinner right now. Oscar the tobacco cat. So we'll check you guys later. And thanks again for watching. And I'm going to go feed Oscar now. Okay, bye.